<laughs> well, you know, each Faith Talk show, I tried to come up with an entertaining piece because I like to keep my audience entertained. And in thinking of what I wanted to do with, with Jeff, this just dawned on me to, I don't know how it occurred to me, to go out in public. Was the t-shirt thing original? Was that, the, uh, uh, was that my idea? Oh, okay. Nice, what is this? Well, yeah. yeah, and to just kind of knock around town and um, at the end of my last show when announcing that I would have an atheist on it, the next guest, a couple of um, atheists approached me and they seemed shocked that I would have someone, uh, my enemy, on the show. Okay, we're gonna get some good conversation. I do, I think that if there are. Um... I think this is the kind of group that's gonna. This is where we're gonna get some of those positive comments. We, we got these lovely t-shirts from The Angry Advocate, uh, the Van Illich family put them together. Um, and we will be going around town and wearing these shirts and talking to people about how they feel when they see us here. Basically about it. Thank you. That's a shame that anybody would think that, and I'm sure even some Muslims think that too. And let's why don't we just put out a statement to kind of counter that? That people are, you know, different ends of the theological spectrum. I mean, usually if you stereotype it, it would be like when an atheist is with a Muslim, you'd be like, oh, well, they are either not religious or they're pretending to be an atheist, like hanging out with somebody who's getting like super religious. And, like, it, stereotypically a Muslim, I, I think of like somebody sitting on their knees all day praying to God. And then an atheist would be the opposite of seeing this together. Stereotypically it'd be weird, but I mean, I'm not one to judge. I think it's cool. Um, like when you guys walking together, it's like, well, that's cool. Like, I've always had a, like in my schools, I've always had like a good mix of friends that are all different religions. So I'm honestly, I'm okay with it. When I see you two, the shirts don't mean much to me other than a system of beliefs. Uh, religion is, I don't mean to sound cynical towards anyone. But religion was a means of explaining what was unable to be explained at the current rate of science discovery, scientific discovery. Yeah. Well, what, what, what's your opinion of, uh, of someone who really does adhere to a, to a dogma? Like, like you said that you think of, well, the stereotypical view of Muslims is someone who's just like on their knees all day long praying. Now, I am on my knees five times a day praying, but it's not all day long and um but i don't at all see myself as stepping away from the fold of my faith by accepting his atheist views right right and i don't see myself as stepping away from my beliefs and, and in particular that there is no god by accepting and embracing other people's views um I, I thought it was interesting when you had talked about science and how we'd moved away from religion that used to explain things and that we can now explain otherwise with science, but I don't see science and religion as being incompatible. I think that there are lots of people who embrace both science and religion in their belief systems and that that's actually more common than one might think. Well, yeah, I mean in general, like at churches or any kind of place that you go to, like it's not, it's supposed to be not normal to not accept somebody else for their beliefs. Like, I go to a church that's non-denominational, and so we have all types of people come in, and it's like, 
a little melting pot of people who believe all different things but still want to hear the same message. Jeff seems like a person who likes to take a position where he can kind of argue or have a point of view where he can kind of be uh, uh, in conflict a little bit with somebody. Maybe, uh, maybe that's I think that could be, sense. I think conflict doesn't have to be such a negative. It doesn't okay. have to be so negative. It doesn't yeah. have to have such a negative con connotation. Yeah. If because you... obviously, I don't, I don't agree with a lot of what that guy says. Oh, okay. That's but that's okay. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. well, I agree a I lot. But there's a either. lot I really disagree with him on. All right. And that's okay. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. There you go. I, I was telling you know, her that. I would be a great guest on the show. <laughs> I know, He's right? had some enlightening. <laughs> like, you know, you would be a better host right. than me. Oh, you say something well, like, no, yeah, you wow, well, I can't say that. Spirit with you. But, yeah. I got the spirit I with you. I do. Yeah, yeah. You can, you well, know. I'll take that as a Makes compliment. You, yeah, yeah, you Thank should. Thank you. It uh, means uh, your humanity shines through as well as your divinity, which I believe that's within every, all of us. The, uh, whatever it is above the world and that's also in our hearts you know it's it's not that big of a deal here i'm gonna keep rambling what's I'm important sorry. is that you live with love in your hearts and that's why this is called muslim loves atheist atheist loves muslim because Thank we you. have love nature. in our hearts and we have love in our hearts for everybody and we don't want to let anything divide us in that sense that you and i disagree on a lot of things but that doesn't mean that we can't love each other exactly exactly and respect each other and honor each other's beliefs and that honor the fact that we are allowed to have those beliefs and to recognize that even though we have different beliefs, um, that there, we have so much in common. And that an atheist can support a Muslim. And a Muslim can support an atheist. It, <laughs> it's, it's the truth. I mean, and the, all of the people out there who try to frame it some other way those atheists who came up at the end of your last talk show and said having your enemy on the show i am not your enemy no i'm your friend yeah yeah i guess i'd agree with that it is submission to god in order by following that example you are submitting yeah, to god yeah. and so that is not necessarily dogma, right? Yeah. I mean, that's still... That's still what, what I, I was think, called. And I, and I think the use of the word dogma is such, yeah. a, it's such a man-made even yeah. concept, yes. the thought of it. And to me, Islam is it's not, it's, just, yeah. it's a state of being. See, I got a being. question for you. Would you share your husband with five, four that's other four. lady Muslims? <laughs> that's legal, right? <laughs> Do you have about... A good 10 minutes for me to explain no. the whole. So, as an atheist, have you been asked the question, well, because God gives us morals, why don't you kill people? Like, why why don't you just kill people? Why don't you just steal things? I've been asked that a few times. Looking back on how the day has gone so far, day two of the documentary, um, it has encountered some ice cream. Yes. So me um, tagging white people as being prejudiced and me being proved wrong, I will admit my flaws and my own shortcomings. But then to put the pair of us together, do you see it as sending a message? I can see it, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Okay. You didn't at all perceive it as something that we were trying to stir controversy no, or no, be... No, I saw you as a friend time to drink. Yeah, I thought the same thing, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I guess... A what lot I've of been, stairs. Yeah, like, so many stairs. Oh my gosh. And it's Sometimes hard, to, I read, either it's hard the, to read into it. I know, I either wanted to throw up or start sucking my thumb.
The stairs kept bringing me back to the place where I can take this shirt off and no one will know that I'm an atheist. But you walk around every day with the hijab and there are people that probably stare. And that anxiety, for me, the anxiety of wondering what is that person thinking, it takes me away from myself and I can't imagine what it would be like just being myself and visibly having those stares. And it goes beyond just the hijab and it goes yeah. just beyond, it goes beyond just the uh, idea of being Muslim. It is also something to do with race and it's, it, it's in perceived sexuality and all of these types of things. Um, but I, I just come off as some little white dude. And so I don't have to deal with those stairs all the time. No, you don't. Would you be comfortable walking around town with someone with a shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I walk around town in a lot of weird things. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got it. it. It kind of reminds me when I, when I first started wearing my hijab, like continuously, I was at a lot of anxiety going out and just thinking that everybody was staring at me and probably most of the time maybe they weren't maybe maybe they were but th so it reminds me of that but i think that this is even at a obviously it's at a whole different level because i don't think i have never seen anybody with shirts on <laughs> like we are standing next to each other and well, that's certainly I wonder a unique thing. if this is the thing. first. Well, yeah, this could be a first. I wonder if it's the first, at least in, in our country. Potentially. Could potentially. I think it, it has to be more of that position and more like a, to bring awareness of yeah. diversity in general. You know, Same. sexual, yes. religion, yes. You know, cultural, yeah. ethnic. I mean, it's a whole spectrum that you can. You can choose just one thing and you can open the conversation. It doesn't have to be as specific as what is, what is the agenda, you know, the, the political agenda, you know. You know, I don't think it has to be focused on that agenda. I think you can choose because it's, you know, it's a whole spectrum that you can talk about. It. So, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I like the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Can yeah. I give you a hug? Yes. Oh. I think I have to Thank give you. mine. Thank you. Mexican. Oh, I Mexican love it. Mexican from Mexico. I love it. Today, it has been a lot about other people's privilege and not my privilege. And people mm. who say, oh, well, because I mean, almost everybody we talk to is spoken in platitudes of, oh, it shouldn't matter and yeah. it doesn't matter much to me. But it, and it's natural that it wouldn't matter much to them. Right. If they don't have to deal with it every day. Well, the couple that I picked wrong, right? I mean, I did pick wrong because I thought that they would be, well, but then there was a side to it that was kind of negative. That, just like what you're saying, they are like, we, we don't want to care. It doesn't matter. But and it almost does. like they were slightly um, putting down our efforts. Like, why the heck are you even wearing those t-shirts? Like, why? doesn't care. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. You shouldn't, it's like almost, like they thought it was a little bit ridiculous. They liked it, but maybe it just thought it was kind of ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. like they thought it was a little ridiculous. Yeah. And they have the privilege to think that it's ridiculous because they don't have to deal with being the other. Right. Every single day. Well, how do you convince people that... Uh, Time to pray? Yeah.